Jesus fucking Christ, finally. Yay! Turns out it just gives us the same dialogue as before. <laughs> yeah. Huh. It appears that Ron isn't here. Part two. Ah! M Mr. Wright! Mr. Delight? Did they finish their interrogation? Yes, but... Please don't leave me alone anymore! They keep putting things up my butt, and only Desi's allowed to do that to me. Bruh. Mr. Delight, you lied to us before, didn't you? Well, uh, you see... On the same night the sacred urn was stolen from Lordly Taylor Department Store, a blackmail letter you got summoned you to KB Security to hand over some money. And then, that's where the CEO, Shane Bluebard, was murdered. But there's only one Ron Delight, am I right? Yes, you are! Phoenix Wright, that's your name! Shut the fuck up! <laughs> so the only question is, where were you that night? This time I want to hear the whole truth. Your life depends on it. We have the death penalty for some reason. But... okay. Mr. Delight, do you still insist that you are Mask Star Emoji Day Mask? Isn't that what I've been saying since yesterday? That was a quick response. Tell me about it. To be honest, it's starting to get irritate. Oh, tell me about it. To be honest, it's starting to get irritating. But listen, Mr. Delight. At the trial today, we learned the true identity of the thief, didn't we? Uh, I sure remember the voice. Take a good look, everyone. Unable to find a rival worthy of my genius, I was forced to create one by myself. Here I am, the tragic clown, Adam Levine. I guess it's true. I wasn't the one who stole that urn. Of course not. After all, you were at KB Security at the time. So then the person dressed up as Mask Star Emoji de Mask in the photo. It's gotta be Detective at me. Excuse me, that was my line? Oh, sorry. It's okay. Damn it! No, that's not what I wanted. Rip. I'm mashing spacebar. Why is he still wearing that stupid outfit? I mean, he was arrested in it. Yeah, someone get him some new clothes, please. So that night, you didn't go to Lordly Taylor. You went to KB Security, right? Yes. I went to KB Security at the time the blackmail note said I should. Alright, what happened next? Well, I used to work there, so I knew where the CEO's office was. I knocked, but there was no answer. So then I used the keycard to unlock the door. Why do you have it if you don't work there anymore? Sus. It's probably when he dropped his wallet. When I went into the CEO's office, someone was in there. Someone? Ha, huh, I wonder whose silhouette that is. Yeah. Then suddenly they bashed me over the head. Bam. Yeah, that's that's you, Dimitri. And the dirt you. is gone. You did the you did the murder. Yeah. Oh, Bam! Me. And the dirt is gone. Uh, because that's obviously your silhouette. But yeah. You that's with your like, right? your stupid hair and your long nose and your monocle. Yeah, that's me. <laughs> Was it Kane Bullard that hit you? I mean, Clyde Bluebird. <laughs> I don't know. The person ran away while I was still stunned. When I came to, when I came to my senses, the sight I saw left me speechless. The dead body of the CEO was right there in front of me. I thought I'd die myself. Look at that stupid, stupid dead face. Yeah. Also, is his tie over his collar? Bro, who knows? He probably wears it like that. He looks like a douchebag. Ugh. Anyway, I thought I should do something with the body because apparently that's people's first response upon seeing a corpse. Mm -hmm. Do you remember Ugly Betty? No. Uh, it was a dumb sitcom from the early two thousand, mid two thousands. I watched a bit of it, like one episode. Uh, mm -hmm. The the token gay character 
does this thing where he he wears in like he dresses like dress pants and a button up like business shirt. The shirt is untucked. His mm -hmm. his collar is up. It's like buttoned up all the way, but his collar is up, except for like the corners of the lapel, which are down, like folded down, and they're kept down by a necktie that he has put on over them. If that makes sense. Sort of. It looks very stupid. I can imagine. And in the same episode, on another day, he wore a ne he wore a necktie with a polo shirt. Bruh. You know the way homosexuals dress. Yeah, horrendously. Apparently, mm -hmm. I don't, I don't, I do not know any self-respecting gay person who would wear something that horrendous. Agreed. Including myself, I would not do that. Yeah, if you did, I'd have to disown you. Yeah, I know. I do the, I do the thing where I put the tie on you properly, and then you go to fix it, and then I smack your hands away. Bruh. <laughs> so that's why you put it in the safe. Yes, that's right. I used to be the chief of one of the security teams, so I knew how to open it. Okay, and what did you do after that? Well, I got out of there for starters. I was the one who set up the security cameras in that building. So I knew how to avoid being spotted by them. He's pretty smart. Yeah. For a dumbass twink. Yeah. Nick, all of a sudden, Mr. Delight kind of sounds like the murderer to me. This is like being an introvert times a billion, where in order to avoid looking suspicious, you do a bunch of suspicious suspicious shit. Yeah. Please don't say that. Why were you fired? Mr. Delight, is it true that one year ago you were forced to quit KB security? That's called being fired, Maya. She's being nice. Ah, uh, uh, how did you? I I'm begging you. Please don't tell Desi. Please. Desi pops in. What do you mean? I'm right here. <laughs> don't worry. We haven't told anyone yet. <sighs> Thank goodness. Uh, no, I um. But I suppose I'll have to tell her sometime. She'll find out eventually. Why have you been hiding it from her anyway? Jessie would despise me if she ever found out I was living a life of crime. A criminal. A thief. She'd never forgive me. My marriage would be over. No more motorcycle pegging. I'd have to go to Daddy Godot. <laughs> <laughs> Knowing that, why did you become a thief in the first place? G good Daddy. Legit. Godotti? <laughs> tips, tips, Fedora. Good Daddy? <laughs> because Jessie spends money like it's water. There's no job in the world that could bring in enough money. Except being a thief. At least. That's what I thought, anyway. So he became Mask Star Emoji Day Mask for Desiree, huh? Uh, and going to the walkthrough, we give him the newspaper article now. Okay. Hey! Th this is an article about my debut heist! Wait, so he is Mask Star Emoji Day Mask? I think he is, but then the lot then, um... What's it? He possibly got, um... Okay, I, here's my theory if he is the murderer, is to cover up the murder he got at me to dress up as Mask to Mask and then get him arrested for it so he would get caught as being the thief instead of getting killed for murder. Mm. If that makes sense. So he was the original Mask Star Emoji Day Mask, but for once paid or threatened or did something to someone else to do it. Hmm. So he could get away with the murder. But that's only if he's the murderer. Yeah. And it seems to, a bit too, like, cut and dry for that to be the truth. Yeah, I don't think he's the murderer. He's got something sussy to do with it, but just not sure what yet. I don't think he's the murderer because the guy in the at the end of the last game was the murderer. I don't think they would do that right away. What do you mean? Because normally, every time we defend someone, that person is absolutely not the murderer. Mm. But the guy, person we were defending at the end of the last game was the murderer. I see. Well, okay, technically he wasn't. He hired an assassin, but he was a shitbag. Right, right. Yeah.
Boy, that was a tough one. Before I knew it, they were hot on my trail. But masks are emoji de mask. He must have gotten away, right? It says in the article that he disappeared. That's right. I got a sudden burst of inspiration. My mutant power is activated and I teleported. Yep. I hid my mask star emoji de mask costume in a nearby plastic bucket. Then I quickly changed into my security guard uniform. Pretty clever, eh? Wow. Awesome. Hey, hold the phone. The guard in this photo? Is this you, Mr. Delight? Yeah, don't I look hot? <laughs> That's right. Nice trick if I do say so myself. Nice and easy to figure it out. Even Pearlchon could see through that, that in a heartbeat. Sorry. But, as you might expect, Detective Atme found the disguise. He truly deserves the title of Ace Detective. Detective, uh, uh, Detective Atme found the Mask Star Emoji Noir's disguise? Oh, that's interesting. Yes, and I heard that he brought it home with him. So that's it. That's when Atme got his hands on this. Thanks to that, I got the chance to remake my costume. That must have been really time consuming, huh? Yes, it took quite a while to complete. Anyway, a few days after that... I received the first of the blackmail letters. Blackmail letters? You got them starting when? Tell me more, now! Hey, calm down. Don't get so worked up. Ah! This is me getting worked up. Yeah. This blackmail letter, is this the first one you got? Also, why is it bright green? No, of course not. But this is the first one that ever called me out to a specific location. So, did you start receiving blackmail letters after this instant incident? Yes. Just a few days after the Tear of Emanon heist. That first letter, it said, I know you did it. So someone found out about your true identity? Just like that? It's pretty sus. Uh, it's not easy being a master thief, you know. I've got proof that it was you, so give up, it went on to say. So in the end, I had to give up the treasure I went through all that trouble to steal. Is that right? Hey, hang on a second. What do you mean you had to give it up? Oh, don't worry. After I put the jewel in the safe deposit box the letter specified, someone sent me $10,000. No one said anything about me being worried, you know. After that, I started getting the plans in the mail. P plans? Plans? Why do you keep trying to be Maya? Oh, sorry. <laughs> what are these plans you're talking about? They were instructions on how to steal a crown or painting or some other rare treasure. I wonder if it was at me. Yes! Oh my god, that was actually so smart. Because technically that makes... He isn't lying about saying that he is the thief, because he basically created the persona and continued the heist after the first one. Yeah, he just hired the other guy to do it. To inflate his own ego, basically. Yeah, and then Ron was like, wait, but I gotta go do a murder. Yeah, apparently. So this Allegedly. mask, emoji de mask, is just a giant circle jerk made by Atme. Mm-hmm. Listen, Ron! I'll jerk you off and then you do the same for me! Uh, okay. It's like the new, um, you scratch my back, something else back, scratch. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> always forget how to say it. You scratch my back, I scratch yours. You jerk, back. you jerk my dick, I'll jerk yours. Yeah, that's how it is, right? That's what mm -hmm. they said. I'm pretty sure Ron prefers to be fingered. <laughs> yeah, alright, mate. Look at this Twinkie I boy. They showed security blind spots, escape routes, and even suggested training methods. Wouldn't you know the security blind spots? Shh. You just said that you know them. But, because maybe in some other places oh, where you right, yeah. have security access to, um, it probably would have been stuff where it's like, I am at me and I'm on the case. Fair. I will give away all of the security information. Zavari! I don't know how to do your voice, but... <laughs> So you mean that the one who planned the heist wasn't you? To be fair, I also don't know how to do the voice. Because <laughs> I keep forgetting no, it. No, it wasn't. I only planned the very first one. 
After that, I received plans from some incredibly kind person. Incredibly detailed plans. It sounds like Mr. Delight is thankful to the person that was blackmailing him. So Ron Delight was Mask Day Mask, Mask Star Emoji Day Mask after all. But someone else is behind the theft. Someone who planned them all out in detail. All I had to do was deposit the treasures I stole into the safe deposit box. Then I just waited for the cash to come in the mail. Could you try not to look so gleeful about it? So you went after the secret urn because of one of those plans too? Well, well see... Oh, right. Sorry. The truth is, I've never seen the urn. I don't even know what an urn is. What is that? All I did was follow the instructions and steal what I was told to steal. Mr. Delight, is everything you've just told me the truth? Yes, but please don't tell Dessie, okay? Nah, I'm gonna. Um, Ron's testimony from Ma from Damas second heist on, he was stealing as directed by blackmail letters. Ron, before we go, there's one more thing I want to ask you. Yes, but please don't hurt me. Kicks him in the balls. Did you do it? Bruh. Mr. Kane Bullard, do you swear that it wasn't you who killed him? Yes, of course. I could never. I am not lying. All I did was hide his body in the safe, suspiciously. But then I was afraid they'd discover what I did, so I turned myself in yesterday. Um, why? Well, if the judge had ruled that I was guilty of robbery, then I'd have an alibi, right? Hmm, I guess so. You're really clever, Mr. Delight. That was my theory all along. Um, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I guess I have no choice but to take Mr. Delight at his word. Mystic Maya! Hey! Pearly! Look at this adorable little fetus thing. Yeah. I'm back! I'm back! Oh my god. Hey Pearl Town, so what have you been up to this whole time? The sacred urn, Mr. Nick. I took it back to Kurayan Village to have it examined. And? And? What did you find out? Well, there's no need to worry. They said it's the real urn. Really? Let's go tell Miss <laughs> Andrews that. That's a relief. I was really worried. But, there's one small problem. Uh oh. Problem? Problem. <laughs> um. These cute little pink splotches, they said that it's paint, and that they were put on the urn recently. Why are we talking about the pink splotches again? What's the big deal? What's the big deal? We've got to find out how they got there. That's the big deal. Yeah, God, even Nick, I know that, so Phoenix. Stupid. <laughs> yes, Mr. Nick, we're going to find out how they got there and then punch them. God, Mr. Nick, you're so stupid. <laughs> she repeats it. Yep. <laughs> You gotta punch them. Punch the shit out of them. Okay, okay, we'll find out how they got there. Don't don't hit me, Pearl Chan. Please don't forget about me. Who are you again? Bitch. <laughs> <laughs> okay. I think now... My disappointment is measurable and my day is ruined. Good. Love how to get places like you just you just have to show up to her house and just be like oh hey and then just leave. Yeah. Hey, sorry, I had to enter your specific apartment to get to the fucking this. Okay, October thirteenth, Lordly Taylor Basement Warehouse. Let's save again. Yeah. Huh? Do we have to have the conversation with uh, Adrian again? We might have sequence broken. Hmm. Oh, it's because Pearl's here. Oh, Pearl, yep. how nice to see you. H hello there. I haven't seen you around lately. What have you been up to? Oh, uh, because uh, since Mai was kidnapped at the when we met uh, Adrian, Pearl was with us, and it was adorable. Oh. Well, actually, I was having this urn examined. It, uh, oh, I, I, I see. Maybe if we take another good look at this urn, we can figure out the mystery of what actually happened here. Nick, let's look around one more time. Okay, now we can look at the shit. The okay, box. yeah. 
This box, there's something about it that's bothering me. That's the box that the sacred urn was in. Yeah, you said you made it, right? That's the part that's bothering me. It looks like utter shit. Bitch. Yeah, well, you should know what shit looks like, considering you're cleaning the toilets all day. Anyway. Look, it looks like there's some me. pink paint on it, too. And it's definitely the same color as the stuff on the urn. I think I know how the paint got on it now. Alright, let's investigate again, Nick. There we go. Wooden box awesome. that had the sacred urn in it, it has pink paint stains on it. It has dung and romper blood on it. It does. Okay, so I think when we first investigated, we thought that the square edge on the paint was because of this, because this had been moved. Mm. But it's actually the box. Looks to me like it's been dry for several days. It's the spot where Kamaida was murdered. Yes. There's something suspicious about this paint mark. The bottom left part of it is shaped oddly, and it's shocking pink. Mr. Nick! Could it be that this odd shape is...? Yeah, I'm pretty sure this is it. Ah, that's the box the Sacred Urn was in for the 50th time. I... I... I'm surprised that it doesn't say in the description of it the box the Sacred Urn was in. Yeah. I mean, yeah, it's here. The wooden, a wooden box that had the Sacred Urn in it. But the title should also be the box the Sacred Urn was in. It should be. If you look here, there's a bit, little bit of paint on the box as well. Wow, oh, you're right. Look, it matches. Well done, Maya. Big brain. Hmm. What is it, Mr. Nick? This is all turning out exactly as I thought it would. Naruhodo, if you will. Get yeah. it? Because that's my name! <laughs> I think it's all starting to become clear. It's all is according it? to Keikaku. We're that much closer to solving the mystery of what happened to the urn, in that we now have the evidence to call Adrian out on our bullshit. Yep. Alright, take that. Legit. Love how he just yells at people whenever he presents them with evidence. Yeah. Hey, Dimitri, I have a gift for you. TAKE THAT! <laughs> Pretty much. Uh, Miss Andrews, do you know any- uh, I guess we can skip this. D yeah. Do I know anything? Yes. No. Maybe. I don't know. Can you repeat the question? Well, that's- that's uh, It could be a fake, uh, but that's the most obvious explanation. Do you have any evidence that the urn? I do 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 do! Sorry to break Take that! Take that! the urn. Yeah, it breaks. <laughs> that would be unfortunate. As it break, he th it breaks. They both stare at it, and Phoenix just goes, "Sorry to break it to you, but the urn is the genuine article." Cries. <laughs> Pearl Sean went back to Kudain Village and had it examined. I is that right? That's nice, but I don't see how what you discovered was that the urn had been broken again. D did you say again? Yes, it was broken once a year ago. And now it looks like the same thing has happened. And quite recently, too. R recently? Are you saying that this urn was broken recently? Yes. That is exactly what he just said! Those are the exact words I used, Miss Andrews. Yeah, those are the exact words that I just used, Miss Andrews. But why do you think it was broken recently? How do you know? Alright, this has got to be... The picture, the poster. Yeah. Oh my god, three fucking pages of evidence. That's the one. Yeah. Uh -huh. At least this isn't Rise from the Ashes that had five pages of evidence. Rip. Man, fuck Rise from the Ashes. It was so goddamn long. <laughs> like, I guess that's... It was DLC. It was a DLC case, so I guess you... Getting such a long case as DLC is pretty cool. Oh yeah, true. It's like getting what you paid for. Yeah, but the thing is... Uh, I played it... Um, I had it on my phone ages ago and so I played it like every day before school during lunch after school and it went on for so long that even though I'd been playing it every day I still like forgot things that had happened because <laughs> that much time had passed amazing <laughs> yep this poster was made recently right poster 
I don't know what that is. Ah, the poster for the exhibit. What the fuck is a poster? At the time when this photo was taken, the urn said, I am, on it. But now, for some mysterious reason, it says... Cough, cough. <laughs> huh? Cough, cough, mysterious reason. Yep. When the urn was fixed, the letters were transposed. The letters were transgendered. I mean, what? Oh my god! I can't believe that the urn is trans. I can't believe it. This is the representation we need. I identify as an urn. Yes. I was assigned to Ami at birth, but I now identify as I am. Yes. This is a horrible joke and I'm gonna stop making it. <laughs> <laughs> what is... I am. I'm sure you can be forgiven. By you, the only trans person here. I mean, am I? I don't know. I don't know anymore! To trans or not to trans? I'm gender liquid. That implies the existence of gender solid and gender gas. Yes, exactly. <laughs> if I, I get gender solid if you put me in the fridge for a while. Does that mean you're cis? No. Oh. It's a completely different thing that oh. I can't define. Fair. What does that even mean? I don't know anything about that. I don't know anything about what gender solid means. I wasn't even there when gender solid happened. <laughs> or when this photo was, was taken. That was a mistake. Now, tell the truth. Ah, w wait! Four. Even if the urn was broken, I had nothing to do with it. Huh? Yes, that's it. It must have been one of those dumb shits at the fucking photo shoot. Piss anus! <laughs> they probably dropped it. I'm sure that's what happened. Looks like she's not going to give up that last cyclock so easily. Do you have any proof that the thing was thinged here at the thing? Uh, is it this? Yeah. Ha, huh, who would have thought that the final three pieces of evidence that we got would have been the evidence that led us to win? Hee hee hee. Yeah. Though, for some reason, we didn't use the box. Nope. Well, Miss Andrews? Um... What is this supposed to mean? There is pink paint all over this urn. Ng! <laughs> and there's pink point all paint all over the floor and walls of this basement warehouse. In other words, this urn was broken here. You can't weasel your way out of this one. But, but I like weasels. Uh oh, she's trying to make her escape. But you can get pink paint anywhere. Well, there's none oh in my, my office. You could buy pink paint anywhere and place it anywhere! That is the worst reasoning I've ever heard. I mean, yes, you can, but there's pink paint here right now at the very time of the Mordar. Yeah, the general availability of pink paint is irrelevant. This is like CinemaSins level of bullshit. It is. Well, there's none in my office, that's for sure. Well, there is in my room. LIAR! Or maybe there is, and she did some shit with it, and now we can use it as extra evidence. Yeah. Yeah, I, I bought it to recreate my favorite Danganronpa scenes! <laughs> anyway! All the murder scenes! Yeah! The paint on the urn and the paint on the floor? There's no proof that it's the same paint. Should COME ON! Hey, say what? Floor. What did you Nothing. say? It cut out. It to the urn, to the floor. <laughs> Come on, this is getting ridiculous. The proof linking the paint to the urn and the floor urn per the bleh is box. This yeah. This box. The urn was stored in this, right? Yes, that's right. Well, there's pink paint on this box as well. Ah. I think you already know where I'm going with this, don't you? Yes, more or less. But but anything could have a square shape to make in the paint. Anything could be coincidentally here and covered in pink paint. She, she like, breaks the fourth wall. See, this cyclock is a box. It could have been this. Yeah. And Phoenix is like, what? 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 <laughs> How? How did you do this? I'm weaseling my way out of this by breaking the fourth wall and you can't stop me. Ah! The paint on the floor has an odd shape imprinted in it, doesn't it? If you put this box onto the impression in the paint, you can see it fits perfectly. I'll, I'll fit perfectly in your ass if you don't shut up. 
Which Don't means this me with a good time. Yeah. Which means this box was dropped right over there. And that is when the urn was broken. Your name does you justice, Naruhodokun. Naruho do <laughs> I'm so sorry. I was the one. I was the one, the one. I don't actually know how that song goes. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> who broke? I was the one, the one who broke the urn. <laughs> Boy, does this make me feel like some sort of evil school teacher. Well, time to spank her with the ruler. Oh. I'm a terrible person. Not only did I break it, but I tried to hide what I did. Well, that's not so hard to understand, is it, Pearly? Cough, cough. <laughs> no, not at all! I know just how she feels. <laughs> for, for no specific reason! No, of course not! <laughs> I definitely didn't do this. <laughs> <laughs> It happened about two weeks ago, just after the poster photo was taken on the same day the urn arrived here. I thought I'd put it away down here for safekeeping. I was carrying it in the box. That's adorable. That's the most adorable face I've ever seen on her. <laughs> when I tripped and lost my balance. When, when I tripped on a paint can and lost my balance. I was also carrying two other boxes for some reason. Yeah. Maybe she just kicked them as she went flying. Yeah. I love that face on her, it's so good. Yeah. That's my favorite thing, when like, a character is made to be like, aloof and just incredibly hot looking. And mm. then they do goofy shit like this. Yeah, true. It's why I didn't like Black Widow at first, and then as, this Avenger as the MCU went on, I was like, nah, she's cool. It's so one of the only things that I really liked about the Black Butler anime was some of the comic relief. It's like, you got the comic relief characters, but then you have the really serious main characters who occasionally have their funny moments, and it's that much... Like, you don't expect it, so it's even better. Yeah. Like when Sebastian wears a pink bonnet on his head. Or when he just, like, randomly, like, stops doing a murder investigation to pet a cat. That's yeah. some good shit. Or when he starts talking in, like, a Yakuza voice because he wants to make Undertaker laugh. Mm. That's what he does in Japanese, anyway. In English, he says, A dirty limerick. There once was a woman from Q who filled a vagina with glue. She said with a grin if they paid to get in, they'd pay to get out of it, too. I remember that. That was a blooper. I don't think he actually said that. Yeah, yeah. I just remember hearing that somewhere. Yeah. Uh, there's also when, uh... Mei Rin is at a costume party and she wears a cleavage outfit and Monica Real in the blooper goes, Do you like my outfit? Look at my boobs! <laughs> anyway. Oh, I dropped the plates, Master! I'm so sorry about the plates! That's, that's my impression of her every single time. That was pretty good. Thank you. Mei Rin's kind of cute as well. I like that everyone's yeah. just conventionally attractive, even The Undertaker. Yeah. I had a thing for Grell for a while. Oh, I still do. <laughs> I, 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 I'm no longer into Black Butler. God is a woman and she's Grell. Yes. <laughs> is Grell trans or is he just a drag queen? Um... Because I've heard people say that if he is trans, it's a pretty bad representation of trans people. Mm. Anyway. Yeah, I've heard both ways, but I, I honestly, like... Personally, I don't mind either way, but I generally use female pronouns for Grell. Fair enough. The box I was carrying crashed to the ground. Crash. I heard a terrible noise and I thought my heart was going to stop. Fearing the worst, I opened the lid of the box and that's when it happened. Oof! The broken pieces of the urn fell out of the box and landed right in the paint. F. I... I, I was in shock, and I let out a huge scream. Did anyone hear it? Hmm. I can totally see how that could have happened. I love the upbeat, goofy music that plays during that. Yeah, just like, do 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 destroys prim priceless heirloom. I mean, it's not, it's not priceless, though. <laughs> we know that for a fact. No, but it is, isn't it? No, because it's worth nothing. 
Yeah, that means it's priceless. That's not what priceless means. That means it's expensive <laughs> as shit. God damn it. No, that means it's priceless, man. Oh, fine. Yeah, as clumsy as she is, I'm sure Maya understands. Well, I knew it was the most important treasure in all the Kudain village. So I tried as hard as I could to fix it. Fortunately, the shards were pretty big. And that's when the... Oh, that's you. Sorry. And that's when the I am got changed to army? I didn't know how it was originally written, but any sane person fixing it would have assumed it said army. Uh, any sane person? Really? It's okay, Pearl Chan. You're a fetus baby. You didn't know. Yes. Oh, Pearl Chan. She's so sad! Mm. <laughs> she said she wasn't very good at spelling. Anyway, I put the urn onto, into the storeroom and no one had seen it since. Broken and repaired by Adrian two weeks ago, then replaced in his box, kept out of sight. But there's something I don't get. When we first came here, I didn't see any paint stains. Well, that's because it was so ugly and embarrassing. I used the golden statue to cover it. Oh, so the the statue was involved. It just didn't make the thing. Didn't make yep. the square. The army face statue. Aha! <laughs> the first time that we came down here, it was on the night that the sacred urn was stolen. But, Mr. Nick, there were no paint marks on the walls of the floor of the warehouse when we were here. Well, there's a good reason for that. On the day of the crime, around noon, that golden statue just happened to arrive from the mountain training hall. Uh, and? I realized that the statue would be per the perfect size for covering up the paint stains. That's why I put it where you first saw it. Really? I see. Now it makes perfect sense. Um, but there's still one thing I find strange. What is it, Pearl? The day after the urn was stolen, we came here again. At that time, the statue had been moved and the paint was clearly visible. She's right about that. Well, Miss Andrews? Huh? What? I... G d b g <laughs> I don't know anything about that. I placed it there to cover the paint, so why would I move it again? Well then, who was it? Who would have done it and why? Wasn't it... This... Wasn't it at me to pretend to hit himself over the head with the sword? Yeah, probably. On the day before the theft, the statue was definitely closer to the door. Then the next day, it was moved. But why? Carried into the basement warehouse on the day of the crime, moved again that night. It looks like... There's some connection between the sacred urn and the murder case. Why? Why do you think so, Nick? Because that night, the real thief, Ron Delight, was at KB Security. So then why did another Mask Star Emoji Day Mask show up here? A lot of different things are pointing to one undeniable fact. One undeniable fact? One undeniable fact. One undeniable fact! The fucking... Um... What's that red jug? The anthropomorphic red jug that bursts through walls going, Oh yeah! The Kool-Aid man? Yeah, Kool-Aid man walks in. Undeniable fact! <laughs> the Makoto's room. <laughs> God damn it. <laughs> the murder shot is starting tomorrow, but... Whoops. Oopsies. Looks like that thief is going to be making another appearance. Oh god, no, we're gonna be in trial soon, aren't we? God damn it. Yeah, we are. No. Time to keep going, because it's only been an hour and 44 minutes. Oh, jeez, okay. Is that okay? That's fine. I just. If Godot shows up, I may just nerp out. Please don't. I need you here with me. Uh. An off I don't want to. I don't want to see Gadaddy. Godot is absolutely gonna show up. It's he's the he's the trialman. Shut up! He's the antagonistic force of the over of the series. Shut up! I don't want to hear. It. it was it was Edgeworth before, then it was Franny, and now it's Godot. No.